You guys want to hear something crazy? Listen to the rocks coming down the river. Because they just cleaned out this river, so all the rocks that are above that they pushed out are coming down. Sounds like fireworks. what the river looks like but right now it is chocolate milk season <laughs> ah, it's loco what is up people it is your boy Ken's alone oh let's see this guy huh. what is up people it is your boy Ken's alone I am heading down to this river but just for a minute to check it out because I am running late running late running late that is my life Whoa. Whoa. Does anybody else have this issue where no matter what time you wake up in the morning, you just cannot get out of the house at a decent time? I could be up at 4 a.m. and I still cannot get out of the house before 10 o'clock. I don't know why. Wow. This was just leveled out, leveled out flat. And now it's all pools again from last night. Oh, there's the, uh, the diggers up there. Oh, wow, I didn't realize how much they dug down. The river used to be up here. They dug all this out. I didn't realize they did that. I thought they just leveled it. I'm not sure if you can even hear me down here. Yeah, the river's way, way lower. It used to be like right here. Huh. Interesting. Phew! It is Shorty's birthday today. Let's all say happy birthday in the comments. Uh, how am I getting up here? We, uh, unfortunately have to work. I mean, gotta make that money, right? But hopefully, come on girl. Hopefully we'll sell a bunch of coffee and have some money to do something tonight. I don't know. I have no idea. But we gotta work, so we are heading out, going down to the city to sell some coffee. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what we're gonna do. Hopefully, I mean, it looks like a beautiful day. Hopefully it stays like that. But it seems like right around 12.30, it starts to rain. Also, it is Independence Day in a couple days. Everybody's flying the flag, so we got the flag out. Looks pretty ugly like that though. I'm gonna have to get it somehow like this. Oh, that's way better. Tire down. Listo, police cumpleaños. <laughs> Alright, listo.
All right, I just dropped her off to sell coffee while I go pay the bills and I pick up some sort of a cake or something. But what I'm not going to do is what she did to me last year, which is buy a entire huge birthday cake for an entire family. And then we were forced to eat cake for every day for the next week and a half. So I don't want to do that because that's just ridiculous. So we're going to get a little, you know, cake or something. It's police. filming and driving so and I don't have my seatbelt on Whew, okay so we gotta go pay the bills and I'm not going the right way to do that I don't know where I'm going all right I am going to pay my utilities for those who don't know you can basically just go to any supermarket I am at the BM right now and I have all of my numbers here written down on this piece of paper which are the account numbers you just go in give them the piece of paper tell them you want to pay it and they do the little magic and you give them all your money let's go okay bills are paid i literally get went around the corner to go pay the bills and it starts raining so she's stuck out in the rain right now and i still gotta go get some sort of a cake so she's just gonna have to wait Ugh, this place is so slow sometimes, man. And honestly, here's the thing. If you're gonna try to do this full time, you gotta go with the slowness. You just gotta go with it. Here's the issue with trying to be so quick about things in such a slow country. Let's say, for instance, you're in a car doing 100 miles an hour and something runs out into the middle of the road. Well, you're probably gonna get into an accident. This country is like doing five miles an hour down the road. You're probably going to be able to stop in time and assess the situation before you get into an accident. Uh, meaning, like, when you slow down, you see everything for what it is. Uh, I don't know if I can go this way. Is this? I think this is a one way. <laughs> I gotta get off this thing. Anyway, I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but really what I'm saying is you need to just slow down and just let things happen. Things are gonna take longer than they should. People are going to be pains in the asses in front of you and it's only gonna make you more and more frustrated and you're just gonna have to deal with it anyway. So really, you should slow down. I think the cops are up on the side. You need to just slow down, you need to relax, you need to just breathe and let things take its course. Because if you're moving a million hour if you're moving a million miles an hour while everybody else is moving five, you're gonna crash. Solo necesito un costo pequeño. Hey girl. 
So Shorty was just telling me that while I was gone, a guy came by and uh, ordered a coffee. So she made him a coffee and then he said at last minute, oh, I don't want whipped cream. I don't want whipped cream. Okay, so she makes him a new coffee. He grabs it, okay, thanks, and just walks off. Doesn't pay or anything. What kind of people live in this damn city? You're just gonna take a coffee and just leave. I don't know if it says free coffees up here, but I'm not giving away free coffees. <laughs> it's incredible. Anyway, we are down here in San Ysidro, in the rain a little bit, right out in front of Bazookas on the main road. We decided to come down into the city and get a little more traffic because we were up, up, down, up in the mountain a little bit. It's on a, like a highway kind of thing, so not really, uh, not really room for you to stop if you say, oh, I want coffee, and then pull off. It's, it wasn't really good for that, but here, there's a lot of parking. People are parking over there for us. People are coming off from across the street for us. So it's a good spot here. I like it. I like it. So if you are down in this area, find bazookas. Come see us. We'll be here all week long. You. All right, we are finally done selling because we got rained out. I mean, it is about to pour on us. I mean, we got rained out like three or four times, but kept on selling. We are here getting some sushi. One of my favorite sushi spots up here, Coco's. I think it's called Coco's. Hola. Como se nombre aquí? Coco. That's what I thought. Coco, Coco. All right. <laughs> uh, Cocoa, Cocoa. So I feel like it's an accomplishment for me remembering her birthday because last year she told me the day after it was her birthday that it was her birthday yesterday. And I'm like, why did you not say anything? Where I'm from, you know it's my birthday a month before it's my birthday. I just tell everybody, I'm like, yo, my birthday's coming up, my birthday, my birthday. She didn't say nothing, nothing at all. So it was my duty this year to remember that it was her birthday today. So I think I did a good job. Good job for me. <laughs> she don't say nothing. It's crazy. What is my birthday? You know it's my birthday. <laughs> you said? No. Nada. No habla nada. Nada. Tiene que recordar solo. No necesita hablar. Oh, mi cumpleaños. No, eh? Thinking. Cumpleaños. I know now. September now. 11th. How could you forget? <laughs> Never forget. A little bit more. 
little bit more. Police cumpleaños, usted. Police cumpleaños, usted.